Good morning. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tracy Summers, and I'm excited to be with you today. It's my pleasure to pray with you. Just know that God loves you so much, and he cares about everything that you're caring about. Whatever is concerning you, he's caring about that. He's very concerned. And there are a couple of scriptures that I want to read, and then I want to pray with you. I'm the praying lady. I love to pray. God looks for intercessors, and I am one. So we're going to be praying today about uh, don't worry, don't be anxious. God got you. If you belong to him, he got you. So let's, I'm going to go to Matthew 6 first, and we're going to start at 25. And I'm just going to read, and I always like to say what I'm reading out of. I'm reading out of the New Century Version. So that's where I am today. Verse 25. So I tell you, don't worry about the food or drink you need to live, or about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plan or harvest or store food in barns, but your heavenly Father feeds them. And you know that you are worth more than the birds. Yes. You cannot add any time to your life. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me read that again. You cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it. And why do you worry about clothes? Look at how the lilies in the field grow. They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon, which with his riches, was not dressed as beautifully as one of the, these flowers. God clothes the, gra clothes the gra grass in the field, which is alive today, but tomorrow is thrown into the fire. You can be even more sure that God will clothe you. Don't have so little faith. Don't worry and say, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? Listen at that. The people who don't know God keep trying to get these things, and your Father in heaven knows you need them. The thing you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow will have its own worries. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And the next scripture I want to read is Philippians 4.19. I see 18, but I'm looking for the 19. There, 18. There it is. <laughs> Um, had to read to get there. Philippians 4.19 And my God will supply all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. And then I want to go over to 4 and 6. Philippians 4 and 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, be by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Present your request to God. And number seven, it says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Uh, today, I know that this month we have a lot going on. We have a lot of people that will lose their unemployment benefits. They're going to need food. Some will need shelter. There are a lot, there's a lot going on. So I just want to come today to pray and agree with you. 
that you're not going to worry. You're not going to cave in. Your faith is going to be strong. And you're just going to talk to God. And he's going to supply all of your need. My prayer for you today is that you will lack no good thing. Whatever it is your heart needs, whatever you need, whatever your family needs, God will supply that. He will make a way out of no way. That's what I want to believe with you today. So let's go to the Father in prayer. Father, we thank you. We praise you, God. We honor you, for you are faithful. There is none like you. You're the great I am. You're king of kings, and you are definitely Lord of lords. We thank you, God. We release all anxieties in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father God, that we're not worrying, God. If you take care of the birds, if you can feed them, you can feed us. If you clothe the lilies in the field, you can clothe us. So, Father, you are good, God. So we come to you in Jesus' name, just releasing all worry, all concern, regarding whatever is going on in our lives. We release it all to you, God, for we know that you are a good father. And we know that you're concerned about everything we're concerned about. Your word says in Psalms 138.8 that you will perfect that which concerns us. So, Lord, we're releasing every concern to you. We're just talking to you today because we know that you will meet every need. Whether it's money for rent, God, we know you'll meet that need. If it's food, God, we know you'll supply that. If we're waiting for our marriage, we know you'll supply that. Oh God, we know you'll supply every need. You give us the, our heart's desire. That's what you said in Psalms 37. And then you said, we will want no good thing. That's what you said in Psalms 34. So, Father, today we come thanking you and glorifying your name. Because we know that you have not forgotten us, God. You will never forget us, Lord. So we thank you, God, in Jesus' name. That every need is met. Every desire is met. Father God, we thank you. That whatever we need, we're going to look to the hills from, when I help, from where our help comes from. It comes from you, Lord. We thank you. You will supply every need. You will supply every desire, God, that's lining up with your will. You said in 1 John, John 5, this is the confidence that we have in you. That if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us, God. So, God, we know that you hear us. We know that you will grant our request, God, because we're asking according to your will that every need is supplied, every desire is fulfilled in Jesus' name. God bless you. And again, I ask that you like and subscribe um, and hit the notification button. God is going to supply every need. He's going to supply every desire that you have. Everything as you line up with God. And I know you are doing that all along. He loves you so much. You are his beloved. Thank you so much for joining me today.